U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken began meetings with top UK officials in London on Tuesday, starting with his British counterpart David Lammy. The UK Foreign Secretary said their wide-ranging talks would cover the war in Ukraine, efforts to stabilize the Middle East, as well as partnerships in the Indo-Pacific region. Blinken said the UK remained an indispensable partner in dealing with Russian aggression, conflict in the Middle East and challenges posed by China. The visit comes amid a busy week of transatlantic diplomacy that also includes a meeting in Washington between British Prime Minister Keir Starmer and US President Joe Biden. In my first week um, in office, I went to Washington, of course. We met for the NATO um, uh, conference. We have been, I think we've spoken nearly every other week um, uh, in that period for which I'm hugely uh, grateful. But on Russian aggression particularly, um, the backing and the um, stalwart position of standing with Ukraine, tackling the Iranian malign activity, and of course, in our st support and efforts to stabilize um, issues in the Middle East, this is hugely, hugely important. It's also important for um, uh, our partnership in the Indo-Pacific uh, and our approach to China. Um, and so I'm looking forward to the discussions that will embed this strategic dialogue going forward. And I'm very, very grateful, Tony, for you spending the time um, here today. For us, uh, the UK is the indispensable partner when it comes to the very issues that, uh, that David was talking about, whether it's dealing with the Russian aggression against Ukraine, whether it's dealing with the conflict uh, in the Middle East, uh, whether it's dealing with the challenge posed by, by China, and so many transnational issues that have no respect for borders and that have a profound impact on the lives of people around the world. I can't think of two governments, two countries, where we have more daily, sometimes hourly, communication uh, on everything that matters, but making sure that we have the strategic framework uh, for that is vitally important, and I'm so glad we're doing it. Thank you. Thank you. At least 11 people have been killed and 24 homes destroyed in Morocco after torrential downpours hit North Africa's normally arid mountains and deserts over the weekend. Families in Warzazat waded through floodwaters with their belongings, carrying children and helping the elderly to get to higher ground. Officials said the two days of storm surpassed historic averages, in some cases exceeding the annual average rainfall. The downpours affected some of the same regions that experienced a deadly earthquake one year ago. Footage from Morocco's Ministry of Interior showed rescue crews working on a collapsed building. Nine people have been reported missing, with drinking water and electrical infrastructure damaged, along with major roads. Rashid El Kalfi, Morocco's Interior Ministry spokesperson, said in a statement on Sunday that the government was working to restore communications and access to flooded regions in the exceptional situation and urged people to use caution.
Ma ti ho detto, 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 ti ho detto